Hey friend, Ryan May here, an audio engineer, and more specifically, an audiobook engineer in the Apple or Mac world. So when recording audiobooks, narrators need to learn not just the acting and the performance side of audiobooks, but they also need to learn all of the technical side of things as well. In audio recording, there are tons of different audio software platforms to choose from. But did you ever think of using Apple's free audio software rather than spending hundreds of dollars or needing a third party program to perform all of your audio tasks like recording, editing, and mastering? Well, in this video series, I'm going to walk you through five days of audiobook narration in GarageBand from how to set up your tracks. Yes, I said tracks. But Ryan, narration is a single voice process. Yes, but there's a little spin to punching in and punching out within GarageBand. But I'm also going to show you how to do the basics of editing while you're performing a punch and roll style of narration. And all the way to exporting and sending off your finished raw files to a publisher. Now, of course, there is more to audiobooks than just recording and sending them off to an author or a publisher. You need to process them into a finalized version for the world to listen to. Now, if you're new to mastering audiobooks as well, I want to help you out with that and get you started with EQing your voice to maximize the clarity and presence in your narration. I want to give you my free narration EQ guide. Just head to thehomeaudioproject.com slash EQ. It's all for free. Just head to the link here on the screen and I'll also have it linked down below as well. Today, we look at how to actually start recording in a punch and roll fashion. Not sure what punch and roll is? Simply put, when you're recording, you keep going until you make a mistake. Then you stop, rewind just before you messed up and listen back to the good stuff, then punch back into the recording. I figured out a way in GarageBand that this can be done so you don't have to. This one is fun. I'm Ryan May, and this is Five Days in GarageBand Narration. Okay, now that we have our template created right here on our desktop, and we have our session folder created with our manuscript and our recording template labeled to the book that we're recording, we can now open up our session, and everything is already set for us. So we've already got the record track highlighted, we have our metronome on, but the volume all the way down. We have our count-in set. And now we have our manuscript pulled up on our iPad. So now we are just ready to go ahead and straight record. And again, we will perform a punch and roll, which is where we will record our audio. And then when we mess up, we'll stop. And then we will continue on after that, after we hear some playback. So let's do that real quick. You know that I'm not a narrator. I'm just an audiobook engineer. I'm going to do my best here just to give you some examples of recording and making a mistake and then punching back in and what we'll do to make sure that our punch-ins are always clean. Because I'm not an audiobook narrator, there probably will be lots of mistakes that this will make a perfect example of how you can make a mistake and then stop and punch in and then continue on. Chapter 1. Hot set, people. Hot set. Caitlin. Alone in my real bedroom, I only heard the faraway hum of the air conditioner invade the silence. I miss the Okay, and I've already messed up, so this is what we'll do. Now, I messed up right here, so what I'm going to do is then pull this back, and I'm going to move this up to the playback track, 
I will put my cursor right at the end of where I just cleaned up. And GarageBand is pretty cool, very similar to Logic, where if you drag your playhead right here on the top, top timeline bar, wherever you edited to, the playhead will go right to that. So now I have two bars set. So my playhead will be going just before the seventh bar here. And that's where my playback will begin. And now I'm just going to make sure I'm on my record track and hit record. Alone in my real bedroom, I only heard the faraway hum of the air conditioner invade the silence. I missed hearing the birds, sure, but even before my mother had finally agreed to install sound dampening insulation and windows in the back guest room, I heard more traffic and... Okay, there's another mess up. So, let's do the same thing. I just scrolled back so I could see because when I was when I finished my sentence there, as you can see, it's it's cut off in this area. So let's just scroll back so we can see, and then we'll move up. See, it, it kind of overlaps like that. It gives you a nice visual in GarageBand. I don't want to go there, so let's just put it back to that point. And let me listen back. I heard more traffic, and all right, so my mess up happened right here. So let's just pull that back right there. Put my playhead right at the beginning of that spot and then make sure we're on the record track and hit record. Agreed to install sound dampening insulation and windows in the back guest room. I heard more traffic and construction around our Hollywood Hills neighborhood, plus the near constant drone of planes overhead than birds anyway. The loudest and most persistent sounds on the ground came from the crew. Well, crews actually will become, all right, so there you go, man. There kind of gives you an example of how you're going to be able to do your narration. Clearly, a real narrator will be able to do a lot longer of a record than I do, but again, I am not a audiobook narrator. But it's just as simple as making a mistake, listening back to where it was, just pull that back, so that way it's cleaned up. Your editing is basically done when you do that. And then you move it up to your chapters and playback track. Put your playhead back to the beginning or the end of where you need to come back in slash the end of where you messed up. And then just make sure you're back on the record track and keep going. That's how simple it will be to record your voice, do the punch-ins, and then you'll be able to continue on and finish a chapter. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And don't forget, I want you to pick up my free narration EQ guide. It'll help guide you into the right path using EQ on your voice for the books that you narrate. Just go to thehomeaudioproject.com slash EQ and download it today. That's it for today's video. I hope to see you tomorrow as we dive deeper into GarageBand narration.